Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, my name is Lauren. I am a fourth year homeschooling mom of two little girls and we are going to share our curriculum with you today. I am going to separate it into different videos so I can actually explain and do a little bit of a flip through for you if you are interested in that particular grade level. I'm using the same intro for the videos, so this is the level that you are watching right now. And I will also be doing our family subjects separately as well. I want to have them separated this year so it's not going to be so much information and curriculum piled into one video. You can actually select which grade level you want to see and that will be the video. If you're interested in all of them, then go ahead and click on all of them. I will flip through and show you guys what we got. All right, guys, I'm going to start off with handwriting. She has almost completed level three. This is when they start to introduce cursive. Yeah, she's on page 72. And most of this is cursive, but there's some print and there's still little drawings, able to draw anything you want. And it tells them specifically certain things to draw, like draw a tree and grass for the horse. And there's 100 pages. So she has been working on this diligently the past two months. She loves handwriting. We are going to continue with level four. And here's the cursive letters chart. And you can see it still has the rainbow dots and then lifts the pencil. So it still helps direct you on the cursive. I do like that they are starting to connect the letters. She's like, why is it continuing? <laughs> she wants to actually connect them to make words. So I know she will like this. There is some print in here still as well and drawings and coloring. And here's the first evaluation. So they are going to write the first half of the alphabet A through M in cursive and then select four that they need to work on. And then they will fill that in here for practice and then N through Z as well. And then again, more practice. I love that I am grateful for. Oh, this is so good. I also love that the lines are also a little bit smaller, so I think this will be the perfect handwriting for her. There's another evaluation between sections. Poetry. And the final evaluation as well. So that is the handwriting. All right, we will go into math. She just started math. Three. And I did explain in my last video, I talked a lot in my last video for my kindergartner. I printed them myself and I used my ProClick to bind them by unit. So I have four here for math three. It is a lot of paper. This is 24 pound paper, laminated the front and back. I will rotate the covers once we finish each unit and rotate them through because these are just plain white cardstock right now. So I will show you what this looks like. Table of contents. This is all online as well. And this does start multiplication. They have different sets, A, B, C, and D, as well as the 0, 1, 2, and 10. This is not part of the musical multiplication that I will show you. And here's the multiplication chart. And then lesson one overview. So we're up to lesson 15 right now. And I will say there is a jump between Simply Good and Beautiful Math 2 and Math 3. I would say it's a little bit harder, but it's also taking more time as well. Here's unit assessment for unit one.
Mine are obviously not punch outs because I printed them myself. We cut them out and I just grabbed the ones from each lesson. Like for example, this first batch here, lesson four, 11, 13, 23 and 24. These I put back here. That's what we need for the first unit. And then I just made a new appendix sheet for each unit pack down here and the pieces we would need for the lessons. So I have them all separated as well. Here's unit two. You can see here where they will practice the multiplication facts and she'll get a check here once she completes her review and then also complete the multiplication here. And what we use for that is her Yodo and I made a musical multiplication card. So all she has to do five times six is put that in. Five times six is thirty. Thirty birds fly over the sea. So you can see how that works. And we also use the musical multiplication books that come with it. Here it just shows you how it's taught and what facts are in each set. So they will memorize threes, fours, fives, six, sevens, eights, nines, and twelves. There's one song for each pair. They say here six times four, but not four times six. So this is what is taught. We have set A here. So it will actually have the picture, which will also help reinforce with each song. And then in the back, there's little built-in flashcards as well. So that is also helpful. And they also have multiplication cards. I know we're gonna be using these a lot between her and her sister. So I wanted to laminate them as well. So super, super sturdy, but you don't have to laminate them. There's a set that goes along with each book, A, B, C, and D. They will gradually move on. So we've been working on set A for a while and she just started set B this week. Slowly working on these, she tends to use these flashcards instead of the little ones in the back, but she always listens to her card. So she'll have her cards set up in her drawer standing up like that. So that's just how she does it. And I will link this down below. Okay, so I wanted to mention the music multiplication. We'll flip through a bit more here. Some fractions, the beavers, tangram logic, and here's the unit two assessment. And it looks like a lot, but they are only doing the top half so they're doing just the purple section and then if they need additional practice then they would do the orange section so they don't have to do all of this at once it's actually a two-day assessment so the purple section is first and then if they need more practice then they do the orange section and we actually do both sections for review so we always do it and i already mentioned the punch outs and it was just the fraction bars for this one Unit three overview, starting with perimeter. So area, multiplying two digit by one digit, negative numbers, volume. She loves all the animals. Multiplying three and four digit. Some more volume and perimeter. I was going to say, what's going on here? It's definitely a mixed review. <laughs> and this is the unit three assessment. Yeah, as you can see, it's lessons 89 and 90, so it's a two day assessment.
looking in the appendix as well, just the area tiles. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but we have a storm rolling through right now. The house is quiet, but it's storming outside. So if you can hear a thunderstorm, then that's what's happening. <laughs> Unit four. Some angles. <laughs> that's cute. Looks like shopping with mom. Roman numerals. These are so cute. Measuring liquid. Mixed story problems. Oh, she loves these games. Here's a course review. And you can see there's different multiplication quizzes definitely throughout, but this is for set D since we're at the end of the level and the course assessment. I love the tips right here. First, make sure to read the instructions carefully. Second, do not rush through exercises you think you already know. Third, if you start to get frustrated with one section, try skipping to a different section and then coming back later. The sections do not need to be completed in order. And it also says that it does not cover every skill that you learned in Math 3, but it focuses on skills you need to know as you start Math 4. So that's good to know too. Order of operations. Types of lines, angles, unit conversions. Pictographs, area and perimeter. I almost forgot to mention that Math 3 is the last Simply Good and Beautiful math course to have a math box. And ours, we've had it for a while. It does still have the whiteboard on it. I believe there was an issue with that and they no longer have the whiteboard on there, but I wanted to mention that. And it's also a magnetic, so a magnetic whiteboard. So some of them were had sharp edges or something. So if you still have one of those, just be careful. But I haven't had an issue with mine. I think it was math boxes one and three, but ours have been fine. And it also comes with this little calendar and an array mat. We haven't used those yet. Measuring tape, some magnetic tanagram shapes, and again, I don't know if they're still magnetic, but ours are. I bought our math box a while ago. Little pawns and some dice. We have a regular six-sided, a ten-sided, and then these wooden. We have some gallon cups, quarts, pints, and different measurements on these. Something about the math box just gets the girls really excited for math. And they are super cute. That's what's in there. And that's everything for math. Moving on to language arts and literature. She is working through level two. She's almost completed the first unit. This is where she's at. And she's actually really picked up on her reading fluency lately. So now she's telling me that this is easy and she wants to be a writer and illustrator of her own books. So I'm not sure if this is going to last all year, to be honest, but we will see what happens when we get there. But the language arts and literature covers phonics, writing, reading, grammar and punctuation, spelling, literature, geography, and art. So there's a lot covered in here. I did mention how the booster cards and books work in great detail in my kindergarten video, but I will go over it here as well. The course book, Booster C cards, Booster C books, and the letter tiles app and the homeschooling app. And these are the icons. And here's the nature readers. Level two corresponds with the third nature reader. The letter tiles app, table of contents, I know I said all of this is online, but it's definitely hard to see all the detail here. 
Again, I talked about the target symbols in my last video, the kindergarten video, but I will show you guys here as well. So you're going to need the Reading Booster C cards, and these are the two books that go with level two. They are really nice. They are hardcover books. They have ribbon bookmarks. They are very nice. So in the beginning, it does tell you how to use the cards and to master before starting the course. And then you start the cards. And if you've noticed, I give her stamps instead of the stickers in the back because I have her sister do the stickers and she does the stamps. So she still gets her cute little credit for it, but that way I can easily save it for her sister. So if you're using this with more than one kid, highly recommend doing something like that. So she just finished the first book. Card 21 was read chapter 10, so the last chapter of Wesley and the Wolves. So it's very similar, except you're using this book. And I love this, you guys. This was such a cute story. So it has the same idea with the table of contents and reading on level. But my favorite part is that it has a section for the student and then a section for the parent teacher and it goes back and forth between the student and parent teacher they work on specific things that they have just learned in their booster cards so it's very helpful she would just keep reading and I'm like wait that's my part so that was great that she just wanted to keep reading she just wanted to know what happens so we would finish and get to the next chapter and I'm like, okay, well, we're done. And she's like, but I want to know what happens. So lovely story. So that's where we are right now. And I don't want to say halfway through. No, there's 54 cards. Not halfway through, but we did already complete Wesley and the Wolves. So Molly and the Falcon is next. And this is exact same format. I love it has the challenge words at the top and has the whole student parent teacher. So great stories here. And then we also have my third nature reader, which has certain things that she'd be working on. There's unit one overview. She loves these audio narrations as well. Like look at the painting and listen to the audio narration. She loves that. There's geography, and then the unit review. And then here is the unit two review. A little creative writing corner. I've been loving to write little stories. And then letter tiles. I love that the app actually has different lessons. So it just has the letter chunks that they are working on. So they're able to add that easier. Syllable division. Oh, sentence diagramming. Reading comprehension. Here's another audio narration. All right, here is unit two review. There's a reading assessment and they do have lesson 80 and lesson 118, the time and the number of errors and the date. So she will read this twice and you get to see progress here. So that is really cool. Unit three overview. I don't know if I finished talking about the booster card targets. So when you see one of these on top of a lesson, they need to either be past that card number or have already completed it before they start the lesson, like right here. So to complete this lesson 81, she would need to have completed reading booster card 34 or be past it. So this card, she would need to have mastered this one already or be farther ahead in order to do this lesson.
It's so cute. So when there's a watercolor project, cloudy sky. Yeah, so watercolor projects and things like this, we will do this together and her sister will join in on the art project as well. In lesson 120, this is the course review. There's a reading assessment and the time and number of errors, and then the spelling assessment here as well. Yay! So moving on through language arts. Next thing I'm going to share with you is Fix-It Grammar. We just started this, like she's done one lesson. I actually bought this last year knowing that I wanted to do it very slowly starting it. So in here you can actually see the complete story. So there's one sentence that they do every day and they correct it. Did you ever hear the story of the three poor soldiers? That is the first sentence and that is what she did on week one, day one. It tells you what to fix. So there's one capital right there, one end mark right here, and then she has to mark two nouns, which was story and soldiers. So she wrote an N above those, and then she rewrites the sentence with the errors corrected, and poor was the vocabulary word for this sentence. And I have her look it up in the dictionary, and then she's going to write it down in this little notebook I got her. This just came in, so we didn't write it in here yet, but that is the plan for this little notebook and fix it grammar so it's the same setup every day this is just finding nouns and fixing one capital and one end mark and then you can see week two we're starting with article adjectives are a and and the and then for week two it builds and you're doing nouns and articles and a capital and end mark and then of course the vocabulary word as well. But I love that because she's getting grammar practice, vocabulary, looking in the dictionary and writing that down, as well as copy work, practicing, rewriting the sentence correctly. So fix it grammar, I love. And I know we just started, but I love it. I did get the teacher guide as well. And the last thing that I have is typing because I do have extras that I will definitely put into another video, things that we did over the summer, just some extras that I have her work on here and there. And she has just done two lessons so far. Well, she did the getting ready, the posture, the hand position, and then getting the home row position and sitting up straight. That was a big one too. So practicing the home position was big for her. And then she did these two lessons and I did the same thing I did with the booster cards, is I give her a little stamp, and then her sister will use the stickers. So that's what we're at right now. She did the first two lessons, and she's on lesson three, but she did enjoy it. Her favorite was actually reaching over to hit return with her pinky. You know, she was like, these aren't words, what am I typing? I'm like, you're just practicing the home row. I love the pretty pictures in the background too. All right, so there's 80 lessons. So there are some progress checks as well. So that's nice. So that is typing one. I do have a separate video for the family subjects that will be coming out next. I hope this was helpful and that you enjoyed flipping through her curriculum with me. And thank you so much for watching if you made it through to the end of the video. I appreciate you. All right, guys, that is everything I have for my oldest one in third grade. I will have another video coming out of things to supplement or extras that I do have her work on and things that we did over the summer. So keep an eye out for that video. We will be adding some of those things in here and there, but that is her main curriculum for this year. So I hope you guys found it helpful, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.